What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video, we are going out on the hunt for more cheap games that are $4 games. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notifications. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so as you guys know, I've kind of made this a mini series and honestly, I'm just kind of gonna put these videos out as I find games that kind of fit into it and games that don't really make it into the bigger overall game hunting videos. And these are the $4 or less games. Now, I know the last video I had one that was $5, but honestly, that was a great deal, so I couldn't pass that up. So, I'm gonna show you guys some footage of the Goodwill, the thrift store, the pawn shop, wherever I go and show you guys some good stuff. Now this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode just because uh, it was time to kind of give you guys uh, kind of some more videos of uh, games that I picked up in the wild that were cheap and I thought this was a good point because I've got about six games here that I think you guys will enjoy and it turns out to be a pretty good video for pickups and all of that. So I've got a bunch of footage and then I'll slice in some games that I picked up and all that stuff. So I want you guys to know I love going out and hunting for this stuff and when I find cool stuff it's very awesome. Now sometimes I don't find cool stuff and other times I do but I want to show you guys that yes you can find good stuff if you're out there hunting hard enough. So with that being said let's head on to the pawn shop. Okay, so here you see me pick up Nintendo Land, and it is complete with everything inside of it, which is very awesome. This game is only three, was only four dollars, excuse me for that. And honestly, this is a very awesome game for the Wii U. And the more I see this, the more I wonder why this didn't take off. And I also wonder if Nintendo will take this game and put it on the Nintendo Switch, because honestly, this is a game that's a lot of fun and a lot of fun to play with other people or multiplayer and if you can play this online I think it would be kind of a game that would sell pretty well. Nintendo doesn't have to put a lot of money into it because they already have the game basically they just need to port it over to the Switch and I think this game could make Nintendo a bunch of money if they brought it in at about 30 to 40 dollars and then without within like three to four to six months drop that down to $20, they're literally printing money if they recreate this. So I picked this up for $4 and I love this game, it's a lot of fun and I think you guys should be out looking for Wii U games because right now is a perfect, perfect opportunity to pick up the Wii U games and honestly I enjoy playing almost if not all of them. So let's uh, head out to the next place and see what we can find.
Okay, so you can see that I've kind of culminated and ended up picking up a bunch of games. Now, these were all in the same place, but kind of um, were all great deals. They were all $4 because Goodwill puts things at $4, and that is a very, very, very great price. So I'm going to talk from the bottom and work my way up. And honestly, everything in here is a game that I will play or a game that I already own, and so I know it's a fun one. So I'll probably flip that or put it in with a bundle or whatever. So the first game we've got is SpongeBob's Boating Bash. And honestly, this game looks like a lot of fun. It looks absolutely freaking ridiculous. And it looks like something I am definitely, definitely going to enjoy. So I picked that up for $4. I will throw this into my Wii and have a ton of fun. And you guys know that's what this is all about. Playing games is for fun. And this game will be awesome. It says on the back, demolish or be demolished, crash, bash, avoid obstacles, and drive backwards and forwards to ultimately be the last boat standing. So basically, Destruction Derby. That's what this is. I love Destruction Derby on the Nintendo 64 and other games like it. So I know that I'm going to very much enjoy this one. And this is probably going to be a mainstay in my Wii collection and maybe even in my Wii because I enjoy smashing things up with cars. So that's pretty awesome right there. Next, we've got Hitman Blood Money. I don't believe I have this on the Xbox. I know I have it for the PS2, so when I can find Xbox games for cheap, you guys know that I'm always picking them up, and honestly, this is pretty sweet, and I'm very, very stoked about it, so I had to pick that up to show it off to you guys, and to make sure I don't have it in my Xbox collection. If I do, I'll just flip it and add it to a bundle, or do whatever I need to do in order to um, be able to give that deal to someone else. I'll definitely be adding this to the collection if I can, if I don't have it, but if I do have it, that's okay. Next is a game that I actually have recently picked up, so I'm not quite sure uh, what I'm going to do. Whichever copy is the better copy I'm going to keep, and that is the Godfather of the game. Now this one is complete, even with the map of New York City, so that is pretty sweet. Check that out. Um, I picked this up because it's an Xbox game, and for four bucks, you can't really go wrong with Xbox games, especially games that I think are fun. So I think this one will be an interesting game. Uh, it does have kind of a gash in the front, so maybe I won't take this case, but maybe I will find that this is a better disc. So we'll see how it goes. And honestly, uh, it was a $4 game from for the Xbox, so I'm not too um, sad about that. That VHS just stopped. Let's go ahead and change it. Well, someone wasn't kind and they didn't even rewind that VHS. Okay, I'm sorry that was kind of corny, but honestly, uh, I want to do more stuff with this and when I found these VHS games, or tapes about games, I knew I had to play them in videos and stuff like that. So I'm gonna kind of try to work that in a little bit on uh, more videos is VHS's and the CRT TV because honestly I love it so I'm gonna be picking up some cheap VHS's and you guys will probably see them around and moving and playing stuff so look out for what you love and comment down below when you see a video that you absolutely love and let me know um, back, back to the games though we're gonna keep talking and finish up with two more and that is Star Trek Encounters on the PS2. Now, this is a complete copy, and so I was happy about that. For four bucks, I'll probably throw this in at some point and play it. Uh, it says it's a shoot 'em up arcade style, so I'm not quite sure because there's no real like uh, graphics or anything on the back of gameplay, so I don't know what I'm getting in here, into here, but uh, honestly, it was four bucks and it's a Star Trek game, so. Who knows, maybe it'll be fun, I'm not quite sure. But I'm gonna play this and see what I can do with it and see if I can even have fun with it. Uh, hopefully I do have fun, we'll just have to see I guess. And last but not least, I have a Halo Combat Evolved disc. Uh, but this one was weird, I saw that it was the best of Platinum hits, but it had the re red uh, bar across the top and I don't see many Xbox games like that. Now, I'm not sure 
if that is because this is a five day rental or what about it, but I find it to be kind of odd and actually it's from a video store that I used to use or not use, I used to go to often. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to pick this up because honestly, Halo is a game that's very cool and I absolutely love this game. I played so much with my friends playing Halo back in the day and so honestly, I had to pick it up because this looked awesome and it's not something that I've seen before so I'm very interested in uh, checking that out and seeing if anything's even really different or if it's just the box art. Okay so you guys know that I love going game hunting and this video is to show you guys that you can go out and find cheap games that are fun to play. I've got six games here that range from a few different systems. I've got a PS2 game, I got a Wii game, I got a Wii U game, and I got three Xbox games. That is six games for $4 a piece, so that is $24 all together. So what does that mean? That means games can be found at a good deal. Now I see and I'm kind of starting to notice that things aren't popping off as much as I would like them to, like they were in September. Like, if you haven't checked out the September pickups video, at least the first part, go check that out now. And the second part will be uh, this week later on Thursday. So if you haven't seen the first part, go check it out. If you want to see the second part, stick around. That is coming. Um, but I've been picking up great games, and so I'm very, very excited about that. And I want you guys to know that games can be picked up and you can have fun on a budget and that's what this series this mini series whatever you want to call it is all about getting games on a budget that are awesome and fun to play so if you like games like this hit out your go goodwills thrift store pawn shops go out find what you're looking for at a good deal now i'm sure i could take some of these games and trade them into gamestop um and maybe make my 24 bucks back. But I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna keep the games that I don't have and I'll add them to bundles or flip them in other ways. So I want you guys to know that I am very thankful for you watching. So I wanna say thank you so much. That means a lot. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna know what you guys think. Comment down below and let me know what games you have picked up that were $4 or less. Also, if you are hitting up Goodwills and finding good games, uh, even if it's more than $4, let me know as well. I wanna know what you guys are picking up. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching yet again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification and check out all the links down below. I just created a Teespring, which will show, will get you guys shirts if you are interested. Now I have a few different ways to do shirts right now, but I'm gonna try to move all of those to Teespring and hopefully that will let it be easier for you guys. Now if you want any of those old um, Game Boy shirts, uh, not any of the Teespring ones, uh, message me or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and I'll get you one of those. Those are cheaper but Teespring is better quality and those shirts uh, should be better for you guys. So with that being said, one last time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.